welcome to my channel, my name is Hugo Perez, and today we're gonna be playing some Guilty Gear. Ever since I made the transition from shooters to fighters, I gotta say I've been having a lot more fun, but, well, <laughs> transitioning from one category to another has been proving to be a bit of a challenge, especially since, well, compared to shooters, I did not put in as much time with fighters. With the exception of a few games, however. Now, Guilty Gear has been one of those games that has been on my radar for a long time, and I've already streamed some gameplay of it. And if you look back at some of the live streams that are currently on my channel, well, I didn't do all that great. Which makes sense, seeing as how Guilty Gear is considered one of the hardest fighting games to get into. There are so many mechanics that are in Guilty Gear that are not in other fighters so the learning curve right now is extremely high but that's not going to stop me from trying so i wanted to take up the challenge on whether or not i can get good at the game in seven days it is possible to get good at anything if you put in the time but just how good can you get with just seven days of practice that's what i'm going to find out so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be setting aside one hour a day which i know doesn't sound like a lot but it's definitely a good amount of time just to get my foot in the door, especially with a fighting game that's as complicated as Guilty Gear. Another thing that I should mention is that I'm not going to be playing online just yet. I know that Guilty Gear Strive has really good rollback netcode, but again, I'm still a novice. What I want to do is I want to get, at the very least, some experience down before I end up hopping into an online game. I'm definitely gonna have to do a follow-up video with that as well. Hopefully I can get good enough to the point where I'm not constantly getting, well, tossed around. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss out on a video or a live stream. And without further ado, let's get started. So it is day two and I'm about to sign in and play some more Guilty Gear, but uh, there's a few things that I want to try to get uh, done today. So the first thing that I noticed is that I've been really uh, panicking a lot whenever I'm stuck in the corner. So that's something that I'm going to have to fix. I got to find a way to get out of the corner whenever I'm stuck. Another thing that I uh, noticed is, well, as easy as the normal bots usually get, they're pretty good for, uh, I guess, like a light workout, if you can consider that. But... If I really want to improve, that means that I'm going to have to try to increase the difficulty of the bot. I'm still going to be going over my basic, uh, well, my basic combos that I was practicing earlier in the training grounds. I'm not going to spend as much time with that as instead what I want to try doing is I want to try running through the arcade mode as best as I can and then setting aside some time to go up against uh, specific bots at the hard difficulty and before I do that I'm actually gonna log into my computer and do a bit of research so this is my game plan right now I am currently on eventhubs.com and I decided to take a look at a tier list now this might not be the uh, most up-to-date tier list but this is the one I'm gonna go with so taking a look at the top five characters this is what I'm gonna be working with there's Ramlethal, May, Soul Bad Guy, Giovanna, and Happy Chaos. These are the characters that I'm going to try to spend the most amount of time with. Uh, with the uh, hard difficulty. Once I feel comfortable playing against them, I'm then going to move on to other characters in the list. But um, that's going to be later on down the line. As for right now, since we only have about seven days to get good at the game, I'm just going to stick with those five.
So my controller is for some reason not working right now. And I am getting my ass kicked non-stop. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't doing that great uh, against Sin during the hard difficulty. No, wait. I have it set to extreme right now. But here's the crazy thing. So I don't know if it's gonna start working right now. But my controller, I'm pushing the A button. And nothing is working. I don't mean this to come off as some type of excuse. But every single time I was trying to go for my commands with the d-pad and everything for some reason it was not activating and now this thing is completely destroyed okay so i wasn't recording when this happened but i swapped over to a different xbox controller and now it was working fine and then all of a sudden everything just went haywire and now i can't choose anything i can still use the keyboard though but uh, I really don't want to use the keyboard. Actually, hold... Well, it's not like it really did much of a difference since I still lost. That is not what I was expecting. My freaking controller isn't working for the first one and now my second uh, worked for a little bit and then stopped. Ah, uh, that sucks. We're on the third day right now. Uh, I just finished the workout here in my garage. And now, I am going to head on over and practice some more Guilty Gear. Now, a few things ended up happening that I should probably mention. First things first, an update on the controller situation. Turns out it was a cable. This whole issue that I was having with my controller yesterday was because of one bad USB type C cable. Anyways, I already got rid of that thing and I ended up replacing it with a whole new one, which right now is not giving me any issues. Another thing that I ended up doing is I ended up installing Guilty Gear Strive on my laptop as well. This way, whenever I need to go somewhere and I have a little bit of time to practice, I'll have the game up and ready and I can do whatever I want. But there's a problem. So earlier today, uh, I was away, I brought my laptop, and I was trying to load up the game when this little pop-up showed up. I don't know what's wrong with the installation, but just one quick trip to Starbucks later, and I reinstalled everything, and now everything is working uh, as it should. I did practice a little going down the list. I practiced with Ramlethal, I practiced with Soul. All of them have been set to the hard difficulty. And right now, uh, I'm gonna go back in and boot on my PC and practice some more. All right, I managed to beat Soul in the hard difficulty, so now it bumped me up to extreme. Again, I hope this works. Oh man, I hate going up against Chip.
Okay, so, so far, not too bad. I was able to get pretty far. After beating Soul in the hard difficulty, all of the other uh, characters that I had to play up against go into a, well, the extreme difficulty. Which is good, it means that I'm making progress, but there's two characters that I was playing against that for some- Okay, I'm not gonna say for some reason, it's- the reason is pretty obvious. I can't beat them because I don't know how to play against them, and those two are Zotto and Chip, who you guys can see right here. But I did, uh, notice something a little interesting, so I- tried this combo out not too long ago. The whole thing is starts out with just being right in front of them when they're in the corner. Oh, actually, I should also mention which buttons that we were going to be using. So it's uh, the dust button and the slash button. So it's literally just downward dust, but you're going to keep holding down and at as soon as dust registers, you're going to follow it up with a slash. And right here where you're at this distance, this is where we start to make things a little interesting. So right after the dust and the slash, uh, what you want to do is a quarter circle back, followed by the kick. That right there is going to push you and your opponent a lot closer into the wall. And then you follow that up with a forward, quarter circle forward, heavy slash. That gives you the vapor thrust. So, putting it all together, it should look a little something like this. This got me some pretty good damage. It's day four, and well, uh, it's not exactly a good start if I do say so myself. I'm not going to go too deep into what happened, but I had a very busy day. If I really want to improve, this means that I'm going to have to spend majority of my effort today just grinding out the game. Of course, that means I'm not going to be able to record as much as I would like to today. But I'm not going to leave you guys uh, blind. Yesterday was doing pretty well, but I wasn't exactly ready for something. As you guys can see right now, I have Kai currently in the right side instead of my left and that is because one of the things that I completely forgot about was the fact that a lot of the commands that I got used to inputting get flipped so right now I'm gonna try to prioritize practicing playing on the player two side I want to get this done because I don't want to have that whole um being unprepared for which side that's what I'm gonna spend most of my time doing today and that is just going over all of the other combos that I've already practiced as well as going over the similar strategies but this time doing them with the uh switch controller scheme that right there i messed up i mean yeah i still got the break but that wasn't what i wanted i wanted to go for a vapor thrust Yeah, this is going to take me a bit of time. Anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, hopefully by uh, the next day, I'll have a little bit more time to record and do more stuff uh, involving the game. But for now, you guys are just going to have to take my word for it. I'm sorry. As I was editing the earlier parts that you guys have seen, it is currently day five. And well... I completely forgot to turn off the music, so I do apologize if the audio is a little bit, uh, janky. But anyways, moving on, uh, I already completed my training, or in this case, uh, my warm-up. And now I'm going to go into the arcade. So, the goal for today is to try to beat Soul in the hard difficulty as, uh, as best as I can to try and set the bots so that they come at me at the extreme difficulty. Let's see, another goal that I have is to try to practice my uh, flawless defense or perfect defense. So that right there is gonna help me out a lot, especially if I get stuck in the corner, but I also gotta know how to be wary of it and I can't just hold it down because if I do that, then I'm not gonna be able to use any of my special moves. Let's hope I get lucky today.
Man, it's just a story. All right, just finished playing a few uh, rounds of the arcade. Honestly, I feel like I might have plateaued. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm doing really well. I am improving, but uh, I'm sticking with the same combos, literally left and right. I mean, it's nothing too bad. Uh, these are combos that are currently getting the job done, but I know for a fact that after a while, that's going to get predictable. So. That's another thing that I'm going to have to work on. It's a good thing that I'm documenting all of this stuff too because this is... It's important if I really want to get better. I have to know what exactly it is that I'm doing that uh, is both wrong and also things that are working well for me. In my case, getting... Um, being on the aggressive has been uh, really helping me. And let's see. I got to practice different variations of combos. I've got to... Let's see, not get too comfortable with uh, one strategy because chances are it might not always work. I mean, this might sound like a little bit uh, weird. I feel like I'm putting myself down. I'm not, but I know that I need to improve. And the only way that I'm going to keep improving is by practicing. So for now, I'm just going to take a bit of a a bit of a break uh, from t just for today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some of my time looking at uh, some VODs of Kai, which is the character that I'm trying to main and trying to figure out some new combos that I can practice in the dojo Okay, so it is currently day six and well, although I am gonna be uh, setting aside some time to practice I'm gonna have to be doing a repeat as to What happened a few days earlier, so right now I have been busy trying to uh, update and repair my laptop because it's been acting up a little bit uh weird as of late so yeah that's gonna have to be where most of my priorities are gonna be especially since i need this uh for other projects that i'm working on which you guys are gonna see uh later on did it just 
Okay, so I'm definitely going to prioritize this. And uh, later on, I'll be... I think that did shut off. I got to... Okay, I got to check that. So, this is going to be taking up a lot more of my time than Guilty Gear. But I'm still going to try to set aside at least a few... At least an hour to play and get better. Again, I'm not going to be able to record, but you guys are just going to have to take my word for it on this one. Although, hopefully by tomorrow, day 7, I will have enough. Uh, I will have hopefully improved enough to be able to take on harder bots and some of the better players online. Okay, I really do need to check that because that is not... It was supposed to restart. I don't know why it shut off. Oh well, wish me luck. So it is the last day of the challenge and I gotta say, I'm honestly impressed with myself. I was able to get very far, uh, but I still have a long way to go. So for this last day, I've already completed my warm up, and instead of running the arcade like I usually do, uh, I've written down the list of characters that are not only good in the current meta game, but also the characters that I struggle with the most. And I'm just going to spend my time uh, playing against them on a set level. That's going to be my game plan for today. And well, it's the last day of the challenge. But that doesn't mean that this is my last day playing Guilty Gear. I'm still going to keep grinding out the game. In conclusion, yes, it is possible to get good at Guilty Gear in 7 days. You might as well take this as, yes, it is possible to get good at anything in 7 days. As long as you have the work ethic and as long as you put in the time. In my case, what helped me out is I recorded all of my gameplay. I rewatched it and I broke it down into what exactly it is that I needed to improve on. Different ways to get out of sticky situations. And coming up with brand new combinations that are going to help me out in the long run. This also 
isn't the end of me playing Guilty Gear. I'm still going to continue playing the game because it's a lot of fun. So definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss out on a video or a live stream. This also isn't going to be the only fighting game that I'm going to be dedicating my time to. I definitely want to branch out and explore what else is out there. And I'm looking forward to the challenge. If there's anyone out there that has been wanting to try out Guilty Gear or any fighting game in general, my advice is to just do it. Yes, it is going to take a bit of time for you to learn the game, but... Once you put in the time, I can promise you that you're going to have a lot of fun. And like this saying goes, there's no such thing as losing, there's only winning, and there is learning. As cheesy as that might sound, that's the way that I look at things. And with time, I promise that you will improve. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, this is the San Diego Shooting Star, signing out. <laughs>